In this video tutorial, we'll teach you how to create and display blog posts on your website using the blog slider item. First, let's log into our WordPress dashboard and find posts in the left side admin menu. Now here we already have five posts created. They were imported with the Safari 2 pre-built website. Let's quickly add another post to explain this process better. To begin, click on the Add New button. The first thing when creating a single post is the title. We will name ours Elephants. After that, we can start inserting the content using the WordPress Gutenberg editor or the Muffin Builder. Since the blog slider displays only featured images, titles, and dates, we'll skip adding content and move to the right sidebar. Here, you can create and assign categories to your posts. This will let you achieve better filtering possibilities when displaying those posts on a page. Let's create a new category named Big Animals and assign it to this post. We'll talk more about categories in a while. Now the thing we're primarily interested in is the featured image. It will be displayed in the blog slider. Let's choose one from our media library and after that's done, we're ready to publish. Great, we now have six blog posts ready. To show them on any page in a slider, we need to use the Muffin Builder. Let's go to Pages and edit a page. In our case, we'll use the Home page. We've already prepared a section with a wrap to place in it. To insert the blog slider item, click on Add Item. Since there are a lot of items, we'll use the search option. Typing in blog shows us four items used to display blog posts on your page. We'll only cover using the blog slider item in this video. After the item is inserted into the wrap, we can start editing it. We start with the title. This field is optional, but for this video tutorial, we'll name ours Trips. The next option is the count value. It's responsible for how many slides we'll display in the slider. Below that, we have the category dropdown. If we click it, we will see a list of all categories, including our just created Big Animals category. We want to display all of the posts here, so we will choose All. You can also display multiple categories by typing in the category slugs and separating them with a comma. Moving on, we see the order options. You can order the slides by date, menu order, and title, and set the order to be descending or ascending. The advanced options allow you to add a Read More button to each of the slides. By default, the user can click on the image or the title to be redirected to the single post. This option adds a button below the title, which also links to the single post. We also have two styles to choose from. The flat style is minimalistic and does not show the blog slider's title and the Read More button. We'll show both styles. Let's start with the flat one. The navigation drop-down lets you hide or show the slider arrows and dots. The default option will show both at the same time. For advanced users, further customization is easier with the Custom Class field. It can hold multiple classes separated with a space. Okay, since we're all done, let's update the page and see how this looks. Great, we can see our blog slider with our just created single post and if we hover over the slider, the arrows appear. Let's now quickly go back to the Muffin Builder and edit the blog slider item to change the style to default. Okay, now let's update the page to save changes and check it out. Cool, the slider changed its style and now shows the title and the Read More button. You cannot have those in the flat style. We can also see that the dates on the image and the arrows are above the slides. If we click them, the slider rotates. You can also enable Auto Slide, so the blog slider changes automatically. To do that, go to Theme Options, then click on Global and Sliders. Here you see a list of all slider items that B-Theme offers. The zero value means that the slider will not auto slide. We'll type in 3000 in the blog field, which means that the slide duration will be 3 seconds since the value is represented in milliseconds. 
Now remember to always save changes. If we go to the home page, we can see that the slides change automatically. There's also a pause on hover option enabled by default. If you hover on the slider, the auto slide will not work until you move your cursor away from the item. Thanks for watching this video and remember that if you have any questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.